Okay. So I think I'm on. I can't tell. <laughs> it shows that I'm on, on my software, but I'm looking at my iPad as well, and that's just showing a bunch of ads. So I guess send me a wee message in the live chat if you can hear me. Hopefully you can. Oh, hi, Sam. Sounds good. Good. That's good news. <laughs> that is brilliant news. I'm just going to give it a couple of minutes because I know that there's a delay with the sound. Hello, Sharon's got a puzzle. Hello, how are you? Oh, I'm so glad there's people joining me. Thank you. Thanks for coming and joining me in the live chat. Sounds great. Oh, good. That's good news. Can you go fine, Ruth? Sorry, my eyesight's not very good. This is why I'm wearing my glasses. Hi, Vicky, sounds good. Hi, Dexter. Hi, Ruth. So I think everything is looking fine. Oh, hi, Matt. Okay, right. So I've definitely got people and you, you can hear me and presumably you can see everything fine. So the way I've got it set up is you can see my puzzle, which is all sorted. <laughs> I just finished sorting it about 15 minutes ago. And oh, you can hear me fine. Thank you, Ruth. That's good. That's good. Um, and then there's a little thumbnail in the corner of me. Um, so hopefully you can see that fine too. If the image is blurred in any way, let me know. I think I've got the focus about right, but I'm looking at kind of a tiny version of the screen, so it's hard to tell. But anyway, right, okay, well, welcome to my first live stream. I'm really, really nervous. So if I if I kind of just don't make any sense and get a bit tongue-tied, please forgive me. I'm sure I'll get used to it eventually. <laughs> um, but it's kind of a test. This one's really a test. I've been doing a bunch of tests throughout the day and yesterday um, that were just really to get the setup right and the cameras right and there were various things I had to troubleshoot so I did those as unlisted tests so you wouldn't have seen them this is the first one I've done public uh, with a members only live chat so again hopefully it all goes well so I am going to be doing the puzzle hands you can see it here in front of me it's a cloudberries puzzle and it was actually gifted to me by cloudberries and I've been really looking forward to doing it and actually I kind of had a thought a week ago or so and I thought oh this would be really good to do for a live stream so oh thank you <laughs> thanks Ruth I'm sure it will be all right <laughs> but if I suddenly start not making sense you'll need to let me know <laughs> so yeah so I'm doing hands by Cloudberries it's thousand pieces and they actually gifted me this puzzle so um thank you to Cloudberries so much for sending me this puzzle to do. They want me to do a, a post for it on TikTok, in actual fact. Um, the first time any any puzzle companies ever contact, contacted me through TikTok, but I, um, I thought, well, it'll just be a cool puzzle to do for the live, because it's got these lovely wee blocks of colour. It's collage, basically, and all the, all the blocks are different colours, and there's a hand in each one holding something different. So I think it'd be good to put together, having sorted it, I think it would be great to put together. I think it would be quite satisfying to see come together. So, oh, who else has joined? Siobhan. Hi, Siobhan. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm so glad so many are joining me. Hi, Richard. How are you? Evening. <laughs> you'll need to let me know. I know where some of you are from, but I don't know where all of you are from. So you'll need to let me know where some of you are from. I know I've got some from the UK on. Dexter, I think you're Canada, aren't you? Uh, Matt, I know where you are. You're in the US. Um, Richard, I'm not sure. You said evening. So I'm wondering if you're maybe in the UK. I think you might be in the UK because it's evening here. It's like nine o'clock. Um, so hi. Hi, everyone. The first thing I wanted to do before I get started building the puzzle was uh, we um, give away some memberships. Now, it's Donna Louise that told me about this. 
um, that you can you can give away free memberships when you do live chats. So I thought I'll just give this a go just now, but I'm going to have to use my iPad for it because I can't do it on my laptop, which is the one that's in front of me. So I'll be turning to the side for a second. Oh, Ruth, oh, you're from Pennsylvania. Hello. So what time is it there, Ruth? Is it is it some ungodly hour or is it like, is it an OK time? <laughs> Oh, hi, Oogie Man. Your name's Phil, isn't it? Philip? And Leatrice, hello. Las Vegas. Okay. Sunny Suffolk. Oh, nice. Oh, are you going to Warsaw, Richard? Oh, that's brilliant. So I'm getting sidetracked and now I'm talking to my iPad. Right, let me do these free, these, uh, free memberships and we'll see if it works. So, membership gifting. Gift memberships to viewers. You have 10 memberships left to gift this month. So why don't we get away from it just now? Because I actually am doing a live chat tomorrow as well on Saturday the 13th. Um, there's a lot of kind of live chat events coming up because me and um, Jeanette and Donna Louise are all doing our anniversary Battle of the YouTube Puzzles tomorrow. And that's a premiere, so there's going to be a live chat there. So I'll give away five tomorrow. And I'll do five just now. I didn't know it was only 10 a month. Uh, but here we go. Let's see who gets the free memberships. So, Barbara H. Oh, I don't recognize that name. Some, some names I do. Izumi's Playground. Melissa Olsen. Now, that name sounds familiar. Karen Goddard. That name sounds familiar as well. But not everybody, not all of my subscribers always comment, so I don't always recognise all the names. But some of these do look familiar. And Bill Lowenroth, I hope I pronounced that right. Well done. You've all got free memberships to Vicky Makes and Bills. So, that's brilliant. So now we've done that, I am going to, oh, hang on a minute. That was meant to be the satellite emoji. I missed it, Sam. I don't know what emoji you put. I'm sorry. But I'll take your word for it. So I'm going to try and start this hand puzzle. And I will start off by letting you know how I've sorted it. So, I mean, I've sorted it by colour, which is kind of fairly obvious just from looking at it. But I actually I actually thought it was going to be really easy. I kind of dismissed it as, you know, this would be easy to sort by colour. But there's actually like four different shades of purple in this puzzle. and I I had this this one, this really light shade of purple, kind of mixed in with this one, which is also lighter, but a wee bit darker than that one. So um, that kind of threw me a wee bit. Then I was like halfway through the sorting before I realized there were two different shades of green here. Well, there's four actually, but these are kind of obviously different. These are really similar, but they are slightly different. That one's slightly lighter. So, um, yeah, but it's not been as easy as all that. And these ones as well, these peachy coloured ones, I had those all in one pile and then I realised one of them was lighter. So I tried to separate them out, the greens as well. But anyway, I think I'm pretty much there. I also have a pile um, of um, the hand pieces that are just mostly black. You can see them there. They're kind of behind my thumbnail. So um, they're a bit obscured. And this pile here is like, um, things that are in the hands. So there's like some flowers and fruits and stuff like that, I think. So, um, yeah, I had one bent piece, quite badly bent, actually, right in the middle. You can, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, but just one. So that's not too bad, I guess. Um, I only had two pieces that were stuck together. I don't even know where they are now. I threw them in one of the piles. And that's it. The rest of the pieces look in good shape. So, I think, now then, which pile do you think I should go with first? I'm thinking red or pink because there is actually only one red block and one pink block on this puzzle. So I think probably going to be best to start with those. Um, red or pink, red or pink. Pink looks slightly smaller. What do you think, people? I'm going to start with pink, I think. I'm going to start with pink. So if you've got any questions, fire them in the live chat. I'll try and remember to look up and um, see if anybody's written anything in the live chat. 
Um, I tend to get a bit engrossed in my puzzling, as I'm sure we all do from time to time. So <laughs> I will try and remember to look up red, red. Okay, I can do red. Red. Oh, another another vote for red. Right, that's fine. I can do red. <laughs> and another one for red. <laughs> okay, no worries. Do you know what though? There's a delay. There's a delay with the sound. This is something I discovered earlier. Um, I was testing it with uh, my son, Jasper, and he, <laughs> I was like saying things to him. He was in the room down the hall and I was saying things to him and I was like, tell me as soon as you hear it. And it was like 20 seconds later when I, <laughs> lol, all pink. <laughs> well, I've gone back to red now, so we'll stick with red. Most people voted for red. Um, so yeah, I was testing the, the, the kind of the sound lag earlier and there's about 20 second delay hearing the sound so hi Paula how are you thanks for joining thanks for joining I'm starting with the red Paula if you've just joined us that's what got the popular vote so yeah so if I don't respond kind of more immediately to what you say <laughs> it's because there's a delay um also just to say that I did not separate out the edges uh, in this puzzle, I just put the edges in with the colours. So there are some edge pieces in here. Now, I love Cloud Brews puzzles. I don't know if any of you have ever done Cloud Brews puzzles, um, but one thing I do find with them is that occasionally you can get a false fit. Occasionally. Um, not, it's not too bad. Like not, not as noticeable as like when I did, when I've done truffle puzzles, for example um but oh i'm glad you're good i'm glad you're good hi asma hi yeah oh you're laughing <laughs> you're laughing about the color my color confusion um so yeah what was i saying yeah false fit so um i did get one false fit i think in the what was it in the gradient puzzle the thousand piece gradient um cloud bruise puzzle that i did um and it was Jasper that actually noticed it because I did that puzzle um, a while ago on the channel with um, my son Jasper and he spotted it. We were looking at it and he was like, oh, that doesn't look right. And I was like, that's because it isn't. Um, and it was a false fit. So, but these blocks of colour are solid. I don't think there's a gradient within the blocks of colour. So there's maybe a potentiality for false fits, but we'll see. I might be speaking too soon. It might be fine. It might be fine. So I'm just putting together the solid bits. It was, there are some bits in here where it's like mostly the thing that the hand is holding, but I can see it's in the red section because you can just see a tiny wee bit of red. You find them waxy, but you look, oh good. Yeah, I I am, um, I know what you mean. This These pieces are a wee bit waxy. You can feel that, but they're not too bad. I felt worse. Um, like I felt waxier ones like Cloudberries, but these aren't too bad. And actually I, I like the texture of these pieces because they're not too glossy. So overall I do like Cloudberries. Um, but yeah, they do have like a waxy feel to them. Siobhan, you've got Cloudberries as well. Haven't done one in a while. What's my favourite one? Oh, have you not tried one, Ruth? Um, I think you can get them over in the US. Um, they're, they're pretty you know, available worldwide as far as I know, but they are a British brand. Um, what's my favourite one? I've done a few. I think so far my favourite's probably been the Gradient. The Gradient was really good. I'm back to trying to think of which ones I've done. My mind's gone blank now. I've gone completely blank. I've done, oh, I, I did Crowdberries. That was a long time ago as well. I did that with Freya. And um, that was only 500 pieces, but actually quite, quite difficult. It was, it was harder than I thought it was going to be, Crowdberries. Chromatic, is that your favourite? Yeah, I've not done that one. I have got one called Symmetry that I really like the look of. And I've got Egyptology, but I've not done either of them yet. But I think Symmetry looks quite difficult. Egyptology doesn't look too bad. And, um, do you know, I've done more Cloudberries puzzles than I'm saying, and I can't think. Oh, I did Celestial. That was a really nice one. Celestial was a good one. Um, I don't 
don't know. What, what would I pick if it were my favourite? I'd probably say the gradient. The gradient was probably my favourite, I think, at the moment. This hands might overtake it. It's fun so far. So, Leatrice, I have three but haven't built it yet. Okay, which ones have you got? Am I pronouncing your name right? Leatrice? Is that how you pronounce it? Richard, I tried the Sicily puzzle from the world's final. Oh, right, and it was a disaster, so I'm hoping something easier comes up in Warsaw. Yeah, Warsaw. I think that's um, Warsaw, by the way, is um, there's a speed puzzling competition going on in Warsaw, which is in the UK, and um, it's an in-person one, which unfortunately I can't make. They need to do more up here in Scotland. But anyway, yeah, Warsaw, um, that's what's happening there, if you're wondering. And I believe it's a Ravensburger sponsored event. So I think it's a Ravensburger puzzle, but I think that, um, what are they called? Wentworth is also sponsoring that one. And there's some prizes, uh, there's some Wentworth puzzles given away as prizes for that. It's also, um, it's also for charity, I believe as well. Is it like a, a deaf, deafness charity, deaf charity? I think so. Um, but yeah, hopefully it won't be too bad a puzzle, uh, Richard, for you. I hope it goes well. That Sicily puzzle wasn't easy. Definitely not easy. I, um, I don't know if, if I struggled with the chairs were really difficult on that puzzle. Um, all the chairs at the bottom, I had to shape sort for those. <laughs> it's spelled Latrice. Oh, Latrice. Right. Okay. Sorry. I've been... Um, been saying it wrong, Latrice. And you have patchwork and celestial. There's actually there's a wee heart symbol in the way on my screen, and it's obscuring some of what some of the live chat. Um, so if I don't answer straight away, it's because I'm waiting for the live chat to move up a wee bit. Um, so I can actually read what you've put. Celestial's nice. I like celestial. I've done that one. Another one I did quite a while ago. Seem to have done all my Cloud Bruce puzzles early on on the channel. Um, right, you no, you don't go there. Okay, I'm struggling already. <laughs> nope. Oh wait, you can go there. Uh, Paula, I have daydream symmetry, reflection, flowers mountain and outpost symmetry i've got the other ones i've not got reflection i think i know which one you mean that's a nice one i like the reflection image the chairs were not funny <laughs> no i agree <laughs> i agree completely um they were definitely going to be the harder part of that puzzle unfortunately i can't redo that puzzle now because uh, well unless i buy it again i give it away i give it to my stepdad but I was pleased with my time on that. I think I did it in about an hour and 15, something like that. Uh, nope. Most people say it wrong. Oh, good. <laughs> That's a relief. Um, right. Okay. Oh, I'm slowing down on these reds. I didn't think I'd start slowing down this fast. I should maybe use the image more often. I don't tend to refer to the image much when I'm puzzling. Um, just, I, I forget about it sometimes, and that sounds a bit odd. Um, but I'm like, oh yeah, I can use the image and that would help. <laughs> so I should probably do that more often. I've just got it propped up over here. Right, come on, I know I must have you somewhere. There you are. And there you are. Does anybody else talk to themselves when they puzzle or talk to the pieces? <laughs> Like I'm doing right now. Okay, so because I have a whole separate pile of hands, hand pieces, there'll be a few, there'll be gaps in the middle of all these blocks of colour. Knitting at the moment, having a break from the 5,000 piece. Of course, you bought the Colin Thompson puzzle. Yay, I was so happy to see that post you put on Facebook that you'd bought it. It's such a cool puzzle. 
It's such a cool puzzle. Oh, you talk to your puzzle all the time. <laughs> Good, I'm glad I'm not the only one. I'm not going crazy. Um, yeah, so the Colin Thompson puzzle, that, well, you'll know, that's the 5,000 piece puzzle I'm working on at the moment. And it's underneath these foam boards that I'm doing this puzzle on right now. And, oh, it's so much fun. Uh, but yeah, Paula, you've got it. I'm so pleased. You'll love it. I love Colin Thompson. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's why I'm watching you. So I stop talking to the puzzle. <laughs> Okay, you can talk to me instead. <laughs> if I'm caught, I just say I'm talking to the cats. You might hear the cat in the background. I don't know if the audio is going to be that good to pick up background sound. I'm kind of hoping it's not because if my kids suddenly start being really noisy, then um, <laughs> that's going to be quite frustrating. But sometimes a cat wants to join me and he goes all, he goes all sad and meowy at the door. But he's all right. I think he's gone to lay down just now. So it seems fine at the minute. Um, okay. We Grace. I've not been able to let him in very much because I've had a big puzzle out, like, solidly for the last however long. And I just can't risk him jumping on it. <laughs> I'd, I'd be so gutted if something happened. Oh, that goes there. That's brilliant. Okay, this red bit's coming together. It's coming together. Um, yeah, so we've not seen much of Grace, unfortunately, but I'll try and uh, I'll try and get some more cameos done of him. Doing your first buffalo puzzle. The cat's doorstep raiders. <laughs> that sounds interesting. <laughs> Do you know what? I actually purchased my very first buffalo puzzle a couple of days ago, and I'm really looking forward to doing it. I've not revealed it yet because I'm waiting to do like puzzle four, but I could show you. Do you do you want to see my my buffalo puzzle? It's just down there. You might not be as excited as me because it's it's based along a a theme that I'm that I'm a fan of, and um. Yeah, I wanted to try a different brand, one I hadn't done before. So I've never done Buffalo before. That's a fun one. Oh, have you done that one, Dexter? Cat's doorstep raiders. Oh, I need to see a picture. Yes. Oh, you want to see it? <laughs> okay. One second. Okay. So if if I tell you that. It's a puzzle that I'm doing for May the 4th. Can you guess? Can you guess what the subject matter is? They're not easy to get over here anyway. No, um, no, they're not. I found some on, on Amazon, but you don't see many over here either, Siobhan. I suppose it's because it's an American brand, isn't it? Um, you love Charles Wysocki. Yeah, I've, I've never done a Charles Wysocki one. But um, yeah, I'll need to give one a try because I know I know that uh, he's popular, popular artist for the puzzles. Cats, no, May the fourth, May the fourth. Star Wars, you are right. <laughs> it's a Star Wars puzzle. This one, can you see that? Or maybe if a bit easier if I, there. You see that better? That is. My my buffalo puzzle and it's I don't actually know the name of it. It's from the first movie. The I'll say the first movie, episode four, A New Hope. I don't know if it's got a name. It's a Star Wars puzzle anyway, and, and the it's A New Hope. There's this is one of their silver select editions, and I and there's a Return of the Jedi one, and there's an Empire Strikes Back one as well. But it, it occurred to me that I love Star Wars and it occurred to me that I've never actually done a Star Wars puzzle on the channel. And my dream puzzle is the Star Wars puzzle. And um, yeah, I've never done one. <laughs> thought, well, that's just wrong. So I bought one. I bought one for May the 4th. So this is <laughs> Luke, I am your father. That's the one. Well, that was Empire Strikes Back. But yes. Yeah. So good. I'm glad you like it. Hope you're looking forward to that now. So you've got that wee reveal there. 
puzzles. I've got a few others to show everyone soon, including a massive puzzle haul from Sam. If you're still there, Sam, thank you so much for all the ones you sent. That will be coming up soon, my haul video on that. Uh, right, I think I'm pretty much done with this one. I'm going to put those over there. These pieces have got red on, but there is like, there is one of the hands is holding like a red apple and a red rose. So it's possible that these pieces might go on one of the other wee sections. So I'm going to put those over there. I'm going to attempt to move this. Oh, it holds together really well. Okay, that this is a plus for Cloudberries. Look at that. Holds together really well. So I'm going to put that over there. Um, off camera, you can't see it. But I will do the pink now. Oh, thank you, Sam. You're still there. Good, good, good. Have I seen the 18,000 piece Star Wars puzzle marketplace? £750. No, I have not. That's just reminded me that I have three 1,000 piece Star Wars puzzles I brought when I went to Disney last year. Oh, wow. Are they buffalo? Are they buffalo ones as well? Oh, I'm loving this. We're having a Star Wars conversation. Like, <laughs> great. Um, uh, no, I, I haven't. I haven't seen one on the marketplace. Seven hundred and fifty pounds. I, I, I was contact because people tend to tell me when, um, when they find them for sale. But to be honest, um, a lot of them are just really hyperinflated price wise. So, um. You know, and it's just, it's just too much, really. But I, I will get it eventually. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, I mean, it, I just kind of found it a bit odd that I go on about how much I love Star Wars and how much I want this puzzle, and I haven't even done a Star Wars puzzle on the channel. So we'll start with Buffalo and go from there. I did actually buy a Star Wars puzzle. It was a brand called Ridley's Games. And I got it from a shop here in the UK called Waterstones. It's actually a bookshop. Um, and they do some puzzles and they do like games and, and some Lego and stuff. And they had these, they had, they were in like cylinder boxes and they looked really cool. They looked quite, they looked, they were packaged quite luxury you know they looked really cool and there was one it was like a blueprint of the millennium falcon it was double-sided and there was one that was a blueprint of the death star and i bought the millennium falcon one with the intent to do that last year for may the 4th but i didn't like it i didn't like it i started it and i had really high hopes for it but i just didn't like the pieces they were kind of flimsy and um, it just, it wasn't that great. So I gave up on it. But um, yeah, this year, this will be the year that I actually do a Star Wars puzzle now then. Uh, I'm not sure on the brand. Don't remember seeing a brand on the box when I bought them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure if they do that, if they do their own, make their own puzzles at Disneyland. Did you go to the D Disney Disney World in Florida? Is that where you went? Um. I'm actually, I'll, I'll let you in on, on a wee bit of exciting info. I'm actually going to Disneyland this year. I can't wait. <laughs> you love Star Wars puzzles? Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> I know you do. I thought you were quiet. You, that's the first time you said something. When we're talking Star Wars. Mm. Um... Well, you've done the 18,000. I'm very jealous that you've done that puzzle. Um, it is so cool. Um, but yes, what was I saying? Yes, I'm going to Disneyland this year. I'm taking the children and I'm going and I can't wait. This is it's one of the reasons that I'm not going to the Worlds this year because I'm obviously I'm, I'm paying for quite a big holiday <laughs> to the US. So um yeah, it's 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 sad I won't make it to Worlds, but um I mean it's for it's for a good reason. And, and the kids are so excited. So that is gonna be a lot of fun. All right, you, these sections are not going together as fast as I as I thought they would. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. So the pink goes, oh that's one of the bottom bits. 
and that goes there. Right, okay. So, oh, people are talking to me, what are you saying? Um, yay! <laughs> so exciting, have you been before? Um, I've never been... I've never been to the US at all before. This will be the, the, the first for me. Um, I've not been to any of the Disneyland's either. So, I mean, there's one in Paris. I've not been to that one. So, um, yeah, I uh, yeah, it'll be it'll be a first. It's the furthest I've ever taken the kids to. So, oh, it's it's going to be so much fun. I can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait. During the summer holidays, when the kids are off school, then it's going to be great. So, yeah, maybe I will find some Star Wars puzzles. I'm sure I will. <laughs> Star Wars is Disney now, isn't it? So I'm certain there will be Star Wars puzzles available to buy, assuming I like them. Um, although I'm not going to be able to fill my case too much. Uh, oh, you're in Florida. Oh, oh that's nice. I'm actually going to the California one. Yeah, Latrice, so I'm going to the California one. The Star Wars rides are amazing. I bet they are. I bet they are. Oh, this is getting me all excited. Telling you about this is just getting me even more excited. <laughs> okay, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So the the actual the outline of the hand is quite handy to use for putting this together. You get a bit lost in the, the solid colour ones. Um, does that go there? Maybe. Oh wait, that goes there. This hand is holding something yellow. Oh, it's a snail. Nice. Uh, how long am I going for? Go for two weeks. I need the 5,000 Ravensburger Star Wars puzzle also. Yeah. <laughs> um, so <laughs> I've heard that one's difficult. I've heard that's a difficult one, especially when it doesn't come with a poster, which uh, I believe was your experience of it, wasn't it? <laughs> Um, I would love to get that one, but that's another one that's um, not that easy to get hold of. The 5,000 piece one. I don't know what that one's called. What's that one actually called? It's got the big Darth Vader head at the top. Um, maybe you can remind me what it's called, Matt. The trees not far from me, five hours away. It's going to be so weird to think that I'm going to be like on the same landmass as some of you. Although but it bamboozles me how big America is. Like I'll be on the same landmass, but still ages away, I'm sure, from some of you. Uh, UK's tiny, teeny tiny place. Uh, you've been a member for six months, I know. Time flies. Thank you. Thanks for being a member for that long. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate you all for signing up. And becoming members of the channel. It really, really helps. And I hope that those of you who got a free membership enjoy. So, okay, so the pink's getting closer to being done. We're getting there. Wait a minute. Oh, you go there. Right, okay. Pink done. Pink done. What's that say? Ouch. Ouch. Well, what's that? I don't know what that was in response to. Star Wars. Wait, I can't read that. Star Wars Saga XXL. Is that the name of the puzzle? Uh, ouch. Oh, wait, you're referring to the poster remark, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I, I, honestly, a 5,000 piece puzzle that should come with a poster that doesn't come with a poster. <laughs> I think that would frustrate me quite a lot. Um, certainly, I would struggle with this Colin Thompson puzzle without a poster. I really would. 
but it's such a detailed bitty puzzle that the the picture on the box doesn't really cut it <laughs> oh i've just grabbed the blue i don't know really what made me decide that i just grabbed them these are the darker blue there's actually two blues there's one pile of blues here but they're slightly lighter really close though i missorted a few of them um so i'm working on the darker blue now which is the hand that is holding a tomato i'll show you that that one so i'm working on that one um just now and now i have no idea how long this has gone on for already 36 minutes i've been talking that long already wow I was worrying that I'd just kind of rambled on for ages. <laughs> that really should come. Yeah, I know. So I'll explain this. So my friend, my friend Matt, who I was just talking to about the five thousand piece Star Wars puzzle, um, his his copy of it didn't come with a poster, and um, he was very gutted about that because supposedly it was a really quite difficult puzzle to do. I mean, it looks a difficult puzzle, um, but I. Can't imagine not having a poster, honestly. But you did it, didn't you? So well done. Um, as I say, trying to do this Colin Thompson puzzle without the poster would be tough, really tough. Um, and I think normally I don't really refer much to the puzzle image, especially on smaller puzzles, but certainly for larger ones i don't know how that got in there certainly for larger ones um yeah I, I need the image to refer to and a poster is definitely ideal where does that go time flies yeah it does indeed spent all day today working on the colin thompson puzzle it sucks you in it really does <laughs> I, I've been the same with it, Paula. I really have. Like I, I just, I mean, I say this a lot about puzzles. I kind of wax lyrical about them and stuff, but I, this, there's something so immersive about the Colin Thompson, the Bizarre Town puzzle, and it's it's challenging too, but it's like doable challenging. So I don't know. It's just that right level of of difficulty that it just really sucks you in and i i've been loving it absolutely loving it i've had to kind of put it on pause a few times to do other things other puzzles and stuff it's been a lot of things on top of the colin thompson puzzle like hell like the hands puzzle um but i can't wait i can't wait to get back to it the we're hoping donna louise and i are collaborating on this puzzle the colin thompson puzzle and um we're hoping to bring it out in two parts and we'll, we'll be doing we'll be doing uh, a premiere on it so there'll be more commentary more um sorry live chats to come so there's tonight we've got the live chat tomorrow for the anniversary battle of the youtube puzzlers and we have also got donna louise and my collaboration on the colin thompson puzzle coming up very soon so i hope you can join us for that but i can't wait i know donna louise has done it approached it very very differently to me like a lot differently but i think that's going to make it really interesting because we've both just had such a different approach with it i think it will make the videos really interesting so yeah i'm looking forward to seeing her video and how she's done on that it's puzzle testing <laughs> good word good word um i spent more time micro sorting than putting in pieces. Yeah, I've done kind of phased sorting on it. Just check those Star Wars puzzles. There's no brand name on them. So I'm thinking they're Disney exclusives. Did buy them in the Disney stores. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Sometimes I wish I wasn't working so I could puzzle all day. I think that's all of us, Latrice. <laughs> that's me all the time. <laughs> I don't have enough time to do puzzles. I need to stop working. <laughs> Oh, I agree with that wholeheartedly. Sometimes you have to micro sort. Yeah, absolutely. Happy to be a member. I think the membership fee is well worth the enjoyment I get from your videos. Oh, thanks, Siobhan. That's lovely. 
Thank you. What was the date of the new market competition again? Still competing with Jeanette? Yes, I'm glad you brought that up. Yes. So um, the competition in new market is the British um, championships, I guess. They've, they've, I don't know how long they've been going for, but they've been going for a good few years and they're in new market, which I believe is Cambridgeshire. You can maybe correct me if I'm wrong. My, my geography is not my strongest suit, even UK geography. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's in new market. I think the competition is on the 23rd of June, which is the Sunday but it's like a whole it's part of the jigsaw puzzle festival that they hold which is across four days i think i think it's like from the friday to the monday it's like a long weekend and then on the sunday is the competition it's just one day and yeah jeanette so jeanette used to live in the uk for a little while and um so she's quite familiar with it and stuff she's made friends here and she decided to make a wee trip of it and come and do the um come and do the competition in june here in the uk so we are going to team up as a pair and puzzle together which is going to be so cool um i've i've puzzled with Jeanette obviously at worlds but as a team i've never puzzled with her as a pair um she's fast so that's that's an advantage definitely um but yeah i can't wait i can't wait to go and do that that's going to be so much fun and it's it's a couple of weeks before i go away as well so <laughs> so it's just going to be an exciting time generally for me and i'm going to be like buzzing i think um but yeah so it's on the 23rd it's really interesting how different people approach the same image i know i know donna louise has, has really done it very differently to me I have to admit, I'm getting an itch to do another giant puzzle. <laughs> you want to do the 40k Disney moments? I've got that. That's up there. you got that. I don't know when I'll get round to that. I have to finish Wildlife first. Uh, but I keep looking at the 9k Disney Museum. Have you got the 40,000 piece puzzle then, Philip? Have you got the, the Disney moments puzzle? Have you got the Disney Museum? No, I think you have. Have you? I'm not sure. I can't remember now. Um, I know you've done the Magical Dragon Forest, which I'm halfway through. <laughs> I will get that finished eventually. But after I've done Bizarre Town, my next big puzzle that I'm going on to is wildlife again. I want to get back onto wildlife because I kind of miss it. I'll be honest. I miss that puzzle. Uh... Okay, that goes down there. Oh, this is coming together a bit slower, this bit. This, um, right, that goes that way. Helps if I put it the right way. My biggest is the 9k dragons that Vicky did that scared. Oh, have you not started it yet, Latrice? It's so good. I think you'll love it. It's so good. I'm doing it in sections because I mixed the Disney Museum. And so, you know, I know I can do that. I don't feel the need to do it again. And I honestly, I don't think I would have enjoyed it as much if I'd have mixed it. Um, plus, when you mix a Ravensburger puzzle, the, the bits where the sections meet can be a little bit of a pain um, because the pieces they don't always fit together quite so smoothly. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm loving it. I've really enjoyed that first section. Really, really nice. So I think you'll enjoy it, Latrice. I think you'll enjoy it. Haven't got them yet. Save it. All oh, right, okay. <laughs> Which one to get and do first? Hmm, well, I would recommend the Disney Museum, obviously. Um, but I love the moments puzzle. I mean, that's a lot of puzzle. You'll be working on that for quite a while. So, um, I don't know. I don't know. Don't know what to suggest. What do you guys think? Should you get the moments or should you get the Disney Museum? I gave the Disney Museum away. I gave it to my sister. She's still not done anything with it yet. <laughs> I don't think so anyway. It's not that she's told me. Right. So I'm starting to get a bit. A bit confused here, so hang on. So the orange bits go on that side. See, this is another situation where I just spend ages staring at the pieces when I could just look at the image <laughs> and it would help. 
Um, and then like that bit goes there. That goes, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Wait, 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 that. Okay, that, okay, right, yeah. And that bit goes there. Okay, get in there, get in there. Wait a minute, oh, I've missed some. I haven't got them yet. Still trying to finish that one, about 2,000 pieces to go. On the dragon puzzle, Ruth. On on the second section or the first? I knew you were doing it, but I wasn't sure which section you were on. It would be my first big one. Would never mix. No, I don't blame you. <laughs> I don't blame you in the slightest. 9k dragon puzzle is very challenging, but completely awesome. Need to put it fully together. Have you not put it fully together yet? Oh, you've got to put it fully together. And pop a picture up on Instagram for us, Philip. Uh, I just, oh, can't wait to put that together. That's going to look so good. Moments. Still trying to finish. Oh, you're still trying to finish moments. Right. Okay. Wow. That's huge. Congrats to all of you that have the skills to do those large puzzles. Currently overwhelmed by 3,000 pieces, Tigers in Paradise. That one doesn't look easy though, Dexter. I saw I saw your post on that on Instagram. That one does not look easy at all. Um with difficult puzzles, I tend to I tend to fall back on the mixing. Uh sorry, the mixing. The sorting. I don't know what I'm talking about now. Um there's my gibberish kicking in. Um, and I don't even, I don't always know how I'm going to sort it until I start doing it. Uh, but like, so with, with um, the Colin Thompson one, I was completely like, gosh, where do I even start with this? But I think sometimes I just have to open the bag <laughs> and go from there. And that's the best I can do, you know. Um, I've never really done kind of a phased sort like this before. Not Not quite like this. So, but it's working. It seems to be working quite well. Um, section two. Wow. Even that seems big to me, Dexter. I only started puzzling in general. I'll be up to a thousand piece puzzle. I honestly, it's my first big puzzle was the. Um, if you've been with my channel from the start, you'll know it was the Disney Orchestra by Clementoni, 13,200 pieces. And just, I got that, that's the puzzle that gave me the bug for the large piece count puzzles. But it's not, you know, if you don't have space and stuff like that, it's not, it's not that easy, but that one, I, I like the Clementonis because those uh, 13,000 piece ones are in 2,000 piece sections. So they're quite manageable sized sections. I mean, if you're not, if I understand if you've not done a thousand pieces and stuff, 2000 might seem pretty big. Um, but like if you, if you ever want to kind of try a big puzzle, that's a good way to start. Maybe get, get one that's in more manageable size sections. The, some of the large piece count trefles, they're in 1,500 piece sections. Um, you know, so I, I like that, you know, some of the puzzle companies give you that option. And so it doesn't kind of scare people off because I really, I really think everybody should try a large piece cap puzzle. I just think it has to be done. It has to be done. Um, right, am I missing something here? I feel like I'm, I feel like I've got something wrong here. Okay, that's that's throwing me. That's throwing me. Oh, unless wait a minute, it might be. Wait, 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 wait. I'm stuck here. Oh, I don't know. Hang on. <laughs> I don't know anymore. 
Um, what is that? What is that? Let's go there. I feel like that's too big though now. That can't be right. Wait, that's wrong. It's false fit. I think that's false fit. Yeah, false fit, false fit. Darn it. Okay, so yeah, I was proven right. <laughs> Sorry, Cloud Brace. <laughs> Um, that could also mean that this isn't right. Well, it looks right. Sorry, I'm not reading what you're saying because I'm concentrating now. I've got a false fit. My little Abby cat helped and needed to rebuild about 200 pieces. Oh no. Oh gosh. Not good at sitting, I'm more of a shuffler. Give this a quick rough sort just to get it to a reasonable sized amounts to shuffle through. Yeah, I, I prefer shuffling, I have to say. I mean, I call it the shuffle method. I, it sort of works for me because that's really what I do. If I'm just doing like a thousand piece puzzle where the image has got some pretty clear sections, I'll just shuffle through until I find a bunch and then start puzzling. That's how I've done it for the most part, really. Um, so yeah, but I mean, I, I do, I would find that difficult to do with a big puzzle, Dexter, I would, that's, that's so I tend to sort them, but you know me, I don't like sorting. <laughs> I've sorted this one, but actually now that I have sorted it, it's really, like, it's, I'm enjoying putting it together more, I think. Um, because they're coming together in little satisfying little, little rectangles, and I'm going to attempt to pick this up, okay. Ah, that one isn't doing so well. I'll put it, I'll push it up there. I'll push that up there because I've got some space. Um, Gimli says hi. Hello, Gimli. <laughs> Gimli, I just I just watched. Um, so it's the Easter holidays here, and um, we, we in the UK it's two weeks, and so we we go back on Monday we go back to school and, and I say we because I actually work at a school so I get the holidays off too which is great and um my daughter and I Freya had a Lord of the Rings movie marathon last Sunday and we watched every Lord of the Rings all the extended versions back to back it took forever <laughs> so you just reminded me of that talking about Gimli uh Matt uh, uh oh Ruth cats are awesome but not really helpful yeah I agree she meant well <laughs> you like to sort yeah some people do some people do I um I don't like this. the thing with sorting is I suppose for me it's it's like a necessary evil I uh I do and I do I do I don't like sorting generally but like for speed puzzling or for doing large piece count puzzles or difficult puzzles then you know it's it's kind of necessary so I, I just kind of bite the bullet and do it but then I do find once I've done it I'm really glad that I have and you know it, the process becomes more enjoyable because of sorted and I'm not kind of struggling along so yeah I do I do see the place for sorting I'm just not a big fan not a big fan especially of the giant puzzles um i'm gonna have to do a lot of sorting for the next section of wildlife that i do because i'm mixing two bags for the next bit i'm doing sections six and seven mixed together so i will have over six thousand pieces to sort when i do that that's gonna be fun but when it's done i will have seven out of the ten sections of that finished Oh gosh, do you know what? I can't wait to put that one together. That's going to be a momentous event in my life. <laughs> when I finally get wildlife done and put together, it's going to be so good. Oh, see, that looks right, but doesn't look right. Sorting. <laughs> that just says it all. 
Oh, I've done the extended Lord of the Rings marathon. Oh, have you? <laughs> it was awesome. But not planning on doing that again. Yeah. Um, yeah, we, we had to have some breaks. We did it all in one day, but we did have to have some breaks. Um, it was good, though. It was good. I've got I've got two out of the three Lord of the Rings puzzles. I need to get the need to get the third one. Okay, so I'm on yellow now. I, I, I should probably have told you what I've moved on to. I've moved on. To, there's two yellow blocks. This one's kind of like a pastel yellow, and this is more of like a more of a vibrant kind of yellow. So we're doing the vibrant yellow one, and that is attached to an edge. Thankfully, but actually, it's attached to it's above this dark blue one, so that's a lucky, well, happy kind of ordering that I've done it in because I'm just grabbing piles, I'm not really planning this out. I'm too busy talking, I'm not really thinking. Um, so it will go above here and it's at the top edge, so I'm just doing that pile now. I've put two together there that look right, but they don't line up. So I think that might be a false fit, but I could be wrong. Return of the King. Yeah, that's the puzzle I don't have. I've got um, Fellowship. And I've got the two towels both there on the shelf. So. Pokemon and Space Odyssey. Oh, your guess is as good as mine. I didn't expect to do Bizarre Town um, quite this soon. But just because Donna Louise happened to get it as a gift, we ended up doing a collaboration on it. So um, the, the puzzles that I've had the longest just keep sitting on the shelf and then other puzzles keep jumping the queue. Um, I don't know is the quick answer to that, but I really do want to get, get to it soon especially the pokemon one because i've had the pokemon for quite a while and i've i've just it's just I've had so many other puzzles and stuff that i've been doing but um yeah i would like to do that soon that's in the wrong pile and you've done the pokemon one haven't you i um let's see i've got another another 5k on the floor it's not even on the not even made it to the shelf yet. It's gonna take a while. I've got my playing cards puzzle as well. My Piatnik. That that I really want to do. In fact, I think once I've done my next bit of wildlife and maybe the dragon forest. Once I've done that, those that might be my next one, the Piatnik playing cards one, the six thousand piece. Um, I really can't wait to do that one. Yeah, I know. I I can't wait to do. It. I just keep getting like sidetracked <laughs> in a big way. Um, but I will get round to it. I promise. I promise. I will. I don't think that's going to be easy either. That one actually comes in two bags. Um, it's in two two bags of three thousand. Um, I was thinking of mixing it though. What do you think? Should I mix it? Or should I um should I do them in sections? I don't I, however I do it, I don't think it's gonna be easy. You could leave if you're not in the live chat, you can leave a comment on that. I'd be interested to know what you'd like to see me do, whether you want to see me do the six thousand piece playing cards puzzle mixed or as two three K bags. Space Odyssey, Odyssey is beautiful. It is. I like that one. Your first giant puzzle. <laughs> hooked on large piece count puzzles. Yeah, they'll do that to you. Get you hooked. <laughs> okay, we're almost at the hour mark. I can't believe how long I've been talking to you. I didn't, I was worried I might run out of stuff to say. <laughs> that, that hasn't happened, has it? I have been... I've been talking your ears off. Um, but it's been so much fun. It's been so much fun. Right, where is that? Uh, oh, right, that goes there. Okay. 
That goes there. Uh, mix it. Okay, mix it. That's one vote for mix. Mix, I'm the master of mixing. <laughs> Thank you. You make me sound like a DJ. <laughs> Yeah, I, I honestly I was I was thinking of mixing. So I'm not I'm not kind of I don't have a preferred response. Like I'm not like, oh I really hope they don't say mix. Like I was kind of quite prepared to mix it, so that's fine. I can mix it. I don't think it's gonna be easy, but I can mix it. Um right, I'm thinking I don't really know how long to, to go on for. I mean, it seems it seems to have worked. This is supposed to be a test. <laughs> it seems to be working fine. Um, how are piatnik pieces? Would there be too many horse fits? I don't know. I've never done a piatnik. That will be my first piatnik. I haven't opened the bags yet, so I've not really had a good look at the pieces. All I know is that they're smaller, I think, than your average. So... I think like a, a finished Piatnik 6,000 piece puzzle will be smaller than say like a Clementoni, like the pieces tend to be smaller. But I don't know about false fits or repeat patterns, I'm not entirely certain. Among friends time flies, that is true. OMG it's nearly 10 p.m. Yeah. yeah, I know. It Time has really gone, it's whizzed by. I've had so much fun though. I was really nervous about this, but I've had so much fun. Um, so I'm glad, I'm just glad it's gone well in terms of the setup and everything. It it's taken me like a couple of days to figure out this setup and get it all working. I had a few teething problems, but I got there in the end. So I'm so pleased. I'm glad it's worked. Um, but I didn't expect to be on for this long. Okay, well, I've, I've at least got to finish this yellow section. Surely I've got to finish this yellow section. I'll maybe have to do another, I'll have to do another live stream just to finish this puzzle. I'm supposed to finish it in April. So maybe in a week or so I could do another one and finish it all. Or I could do a wee bit in between and, uh, and then finish it off on a live stream. We shall see, we shall see. No, it's scary to mix if unsure of quality, but you are really good. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Um, I'll have a good look through the bag at the pieces and see what I can see. I've heard bad things about Piatnik. You know, I've, I've not heard bad things about the brand or the pieces, or but I've not really done a lot of research into them. So I maybe need to actually um, research it and see. Um, but thank you. <laughs> Hope I mean I, I you might you might be right I might regret it I might mix it and then think gosh what have I done but we'll see I guess we'll see um that's right Dexter <laughs> um. There you are. Oh, that goes there. That goes there. Oh, no, that's, that doesn't go there. These sections are, t are like taller than I keep thinking they are, these little rectangles. Um, so then I'm adding pieces in all the time, thinking, oh, it's even taller. I'm really enjoying this puzzle. Are you enjoying this puzzle? Has it been fun to see come together? Um, I'm really enjoying it. It's good. I don't know about that. I'm not sure if that even goes with this. Yeah, I guess that one. Hmm. 
No, it's uh wait a minute. Hmm, what? Oh now I'm confused. I can look at some four sticks again. What oh right, okay. Ah. Yeah, so maybe it's not as tall as I thought. I just had it in the wrong place. Another false step. Another false step. Good one to watch. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Good, I'm glad. Yeah, the colours are nice. I like the, the image quality. And uh, on Cloudberry's puzzles. Colours are nice. I'm not sure if these bits go with this one. So I think that's me done. This brighter yellow section. I was wondering where to put the leftover pieces. I've got two fitted together as well. Can I? I don't think I can attach the red yet. Oh, the pink I can. The pink I can. Oh, let's do that before I uh, before I say bye. It seems like a good way to finish, to, to get a top to bottom um, chunk of this puzzle done. Here we go. Right. So, we're ready. Nice to see the individual blocks come together. Yeah, it really is. It's quite satisfying putting them together as well. It'd be annoying when you have a false fit. Yeah. I, I, but I did say that at the beginning, didn't I? That it, it's a possibility, especially with with solid colour pieces like this. There we go. So we have a full set of three blocks all attached. And we gaps where the hands are. <laughs> But I can't put the red on yet, unfortunately. The red will go somewhere here. There's a green bit here, and then there's a red, the red bits there. So maybe I could maybe I could do it that way, build it that way, kind of go up. This bit's orange, so that's this one, I think, this pile here. And then that's one of the purples. I think it might be that one. And then dark green, that one. So, yeah, maybe I could build it that way where they all kind of connect together. And then I can attach the red. And that'll be good. Be a good way to do it. Ta-da! <laughs> Woohoo! Right, okay. Well, we've managed We've managed an hour. An hour and eight minutes, roughly. I think I'm going to leave it there because I told my kids it'd only be an hour. And I've also told them they have to be quiet. So they probably... Probably getting really fed up of being silent in their rooms. <laughs> but I would, I mean, this, as I say, this was a test. It's, it was a successful test, I think. So that is good. And um, nobody's sort of said anything about any problems or anything. So I think we can go ahead and maybe do this, like, for real um, next time. And perhaps for a bit longer. And so, yeah, so what I might do is just build a few sections of this puzzle in between and then maybe come back in a week or so and do another, like finish it off maybe on the live stream. I think that would be a good plan. But yeah, thank you so much for joining me. I'm so happy with how it's gone. I'm really, really glad that you enjoyed it. Thank you, Dexter. And yeah, just thank you so much for, um, being members, all of you members that have been chatting with me, thank you for all your extra support. Um, I hope that those of you who got the free memberships, hope that you enjoy. And um, thank you so much to all my subscribers that have joined me as well. Leave a comment, leave a comment if there's anything you want to add, or if you want to um, talk to me about Cloudberry's puzzles or anything, anything, just leave a comment and I will respond to you because this now will stay up on the channel as a video. So um, I will happily reply to you. So leave a comment. Thank you for joining me as well. And I will say, well, good night for, for those of us in the UK because it is now, it's now 10.09 p.m. So I'll say good night and thank you so much. And I will, I'll, I'll see you in the next video. Well, it'll be tomorrow. If you can join for the live chat tomorrow, for the premieres for the Battle of the YouTube Puzzlers um, Anniversary Edition special, um, then I will maybe see you tomorrow as well. But yeah, until then, I'll see you later.